Hello everyone and welcome to True Steel TV. Thank you very much for clicking on my video, I really appreciate it. So this week we are going to do something a little different than last week. Last week we were out in the tents and we were doing a, like a wild stealth camp along the coast. This week we're doing an urban stealth camp in the little Bolingo micro camper van slash car, whatever you want to call it. Now, the place we're going to camp at this week is none other than... Da -da -da -da. Can't even see it. Tim Hortons. So Tim Hortons has just opened today. So I thought to myself, I must stealth camp here. And now we're going to go through the drive through I'm just going to order some food. I'm not going to cook in the van this week. I'm going to go through the drive through I'm going to order a couple of bits and pieces. We're going to go back. We're going to get parked up somewhere nice and safe and secure. We'll rate the food and I'll bring you along for the ride. Let's do it. Can I have the Tim's Double Classic Burger Meal, please? And the drink. Can I have one of the watermelon and strawberry coolers, please? And can I also have a box of uh, 10 Timbits? Yeah, That's everything. Man, well, it's dipping all in there too, yeah? Thank you. Let's find somewhere to park. Okay, okay, so I'll show you where we've moved to just before we start eating our food. So we may have to move about a bit on this one, folks, till we get the right spot, because I'm the only person in this little car park, but anyway. So, if you can see there, we're just right beside the drive through now. And, turn your back around again. That better, if I do that. A little car park off to the side anyway. So let's get a look at the grub. There's our burger. Our garlic dip. Oh yeah, it's actually a crisscross as you get. It isn't um, fries. They're a bit cold folks. And our Timbits. Let's get a look at these. Oh, they look good. They definitely look good. First things first, let's give you a look at this burger to see if it's worthwhile. You guys come to try it out. It's a double burger. Some sort of like secret sauce like sort of thing on it, like McDonald's, but Thousand Island it looks like. More on the top. Tomatoes, lettuce. No onion, I like a bit of onion in my burger. But let's do the taste test. Not bad. It's a bit cold. That's the only thing. The burger's sort of cold. And Let's try the fries, or the, the crisscrosses, sorry. And they didn't get many hankies either. They're covered in sauce. Lovely. Let's try this. Take these out now. Keep all in my ears. Well, these taste like frozen, like something you'd buy. From Tesco. Garlic sauce, okay. Nothing to write home about. So far, mediocre. Let's try this. Get slushy. Do you get, you get slushies where you're from? Like crushed up ice. Flavouring through it. Let's see. Oh, that's good. Oh, that's very good. So far, that's the nicest part of the meal. So, let's meal this, and I'll bring you back in a minute. Okay, folks, that is 
that nailed. There wasn't very much, to be honest. It wasn't a big portion for the price of it, £7 something for the meal. And then the tin bits were extra, but it filled a hole. It'll do us. But I wouldn't be in no hurry to come back and spend £7 on it again. So out of 10, what would I give it? What would the Truesdale TV rating be at a 10? Five. Yeah. It's okay. But, like I said, I wouldn't be rushing over here to get that again. But anyway, so, to get this put away, we're definitely going to move because we're going to car in this wee car park and the cars are steady coming down there. The old trusty homemade steering wheel table. Back up where it belongs. Now, we need to go and move and get a better park up spot. Um, yeah, let's do that. We could come back here later on, who knows, we'll just play up the air, we'll watch the traffic, watch the coming and goings of employees and all that, and that's how we'll judge where we want to park. But anyway, we've got to move for now so we can get in the back. So we're back over not too far when we started, we've done our intro. We're going to go here for now, we're going to the back here, we'll um, get a movie on, and we'll keep an eye on the, the traffic and stuff, and... Uh, if we need to move later on, we will. Get a light in the subject for you. Shut the old curtains. There we go, we're in. We've got our tin bits. Oh, need to get my drink. Drink retrieved. Then let's get comfortable. This is the life, folks. It's very busy here. Another car. Just pulled up right beside me there, so. Let's get a movie on. Relax. So I've only got three to watch. Uh, I've got Bad Boys for Life. I watched that the other day. Damn it. Jumanji Next Level or Born to be Wild. There's three episodes of that. So I might just watch Jumanji for now. And then if we're stuck, we'll put on Born to be Wild. So of course, this is um, a midweek sort of stealth. So I have work in the morning. Turn this down. So I have my uniform and all of me as, as I always do when I do these midweek stealths. It's in the front there. So we'll just go up in the morning, get our uniform on, head straight to work. But let's get a look at these bad boys. A better look for you. Let's do a bit of sampling. So this is like a chocolate one with sugar and sprinkles. Let's try it. Oh. It is actually a chocolatey dough. I thought it was just chocolate round the donut. That was not bad. We've got like these darker coloured ones. So again with sugar and stuff on them. Let's try this one. Cinnamon. Not fast than that. And, yeah. Well, I'm assuming it's just like a normal glazed donut. Let's try this. <coughs> and the rest just seem to be the same again. Let's try that. The rest just seem to be the same, same again. So. Oh. Sorry, I'm wrong, there's a cream in that one. Let's chill and watch some movies. You recovering from hip surgery? 
Van life. God love it. There's none but rain in this country. Rain, rain, rain. It is depressing. <laughs> People standing right outside my car there talking. You probably can't see them. I think it's two grannies. <laughs> I'm drifting off folks, despite it being as busy as it is here, we have to say goodnight now, you know, let's, let's get a look around first of all, but just to see if we're missing anything. Quite busy it is still here. It's nine o'clock. Now this place is open to twelve o'clock, so I would say it'll be busy right up until that point because it says it's the first day of its opening, so it's a novelty for everybody around here. Tell you what we'll do. We will um, maybe go and try their breakfast in the morning if it's open. But the time I have to leave for work, it should be because it's meant to open at six, and I could hang around as long as they have their the food ready to be served around that time. We get to see their see if their breakfast is any better than their their dinner their their what is that their dinner menu because that was terrible but anyway stay tuned and we'll get a good look around in the morning and stay tuned also just in case anything happens I'll bring you back but if nothing happens I'll just see you in the morning and we'll get a look around the end we'll get some breakfast morning 20 to 6 Time to get a close on and get the work. But first things first, hopefully these guys and Hordens here are um, have the bacon on. It's supposed to open at six, but let's see if they're ready. If they're ready, we'll get some breakfast. We'll try it. Hopefully a little bit better than dinner was because that's crap. But let's get the clothes on. I'll bring you back. Boom! We're back and we're ready. Looking sharp. Okay, let's try and get into the front without being seen. Get out this side door. Maybe that could be a challenge. There's employees going in. So you'd like to think they would be ready to serve food soon. So folks, we're just sitting here waiting patiently for this place to open. I've got my old earphones in again. So it looks like I'm on the hands free if anybody looking in to see why is this guy sitting talking to himself. If you've watched this far, do me a favour and like the video and 
comment on the video because it all helps the algorithm if you do that then the, the youtube sees that people are watching it and enjoying it and interacting with it and they'll show it to other people and that helps me out greatly so you do that for me and oh and don't forget to subscribe of course subscribe to the channel and uh, i'll keep making them that's the deal but um there's 10 to we've another 10 minutes to wait i'll bring you back all right we are off let's see what they have to offer Could I have the bacon and egg muffin meal, please? Could I have Americano? Yeah, uh, milk and sugar. Just one sugar, please. Thank you. Take it out. Okay, breakfast is served. There's a wee guy running around there, picking up letter. He came right up the side of my car there, so. We'll get the decoy headphones in again. So, the coffee, Americano is Americano. I'm not going to sample that for you. So it's, it is what it is. A little stark roast, probably a bit stronger. So let's look and see what they give us here. This was £2.49. So we have a little hash brown. Looks okay. And then we have our bacon, egg, Mc, I keep saying McMuffin, but it's not McMuffin, it's just a bacon and egg muffin. Microwaved egg. Couple bits of microwave bacon, looks like. Um, what do you call that cheese? You know that sliced burger cheese? It's two point fifty. So yeah, that's fine. That's worth two point fifty. They get the coffee. Actually, it's quite good value when you think about it. The coffee, the hash brown, and the the sandwich. Hash brown. That's quite nice. So we'll take another bite of this. We'll give her the True Steel TV ratings and we'll say her goodbyes. Let's try and get a bit of one with everyone in it. Once again, no napkins, but well, that's good. That's actually quite good, folks. That's so much better than what I had last night. You know what? See, if the food had been warm last night, that would have got a hell of a higher rating. But the fact it was cold, much more priced, well, it's got such a poor one. And um, the patty and the burger was dead on. It was decent meat. But anyway, we're, we're going off the subject. This is this meal we're rating now, and I would give this. Much better than McDonald's breakfast now. I would give this seven point five. That's a good score. Seven point five out of ten. Anyway, it's quarter past six. I can kneel this quick and get up the road and get to my work. So thanks again, folks, for watching to this this part of the video. Watching this far, you are absolute legends. You're legends in my eyes. And I will just see you on the next one. All being well, if my chest is any better, I'm sure you can hear the way I'm croaking and talking. We'll be on Roadside Stealth Episode 3 next video. But it all depends on my health. Anyway, thanks for watching. See you next week. Keep her stealth.